Hi, right, Taurus. It's Leslie. Just with a little, little information about this great conjunction happening December 21st between Jupiter and Saturn means for you, Taurus. Uh, with worldly Jupiter and stabilizing Saturn, setting off sparks in your 10th house of career could make epic strides towards your professional life. You could really do some changes or some moving up. Yes, even in this economy, just even in this economy, the way things are. Or you may find gainful employment with an international firm, interfacing via web meme and colleagues in different times and zones and places. The 10th house rules men and fathers, with the Jupiter refreshing your perspective and Saturn bringing the wisdom of maturity. You could heal some old pain around your dad, and I think you've had a lot of pain around your dad. I'm just telling you what's happened, but a lot of pain. Um, time to let it go. Uh, I think he was a big influence on a lot of you in a lot of uh, abusive ways, as, uh, physical abusive ways, and maybe, and also um, mental abusive ways, um, where you have sometimes don't think so as much of yourself as you'd like to because you were criticized so much, or maybe you were punished so much. Um, so you could heal some pain around that, and that would be good. It would be a big breakthrough for you because it's been there for you many, many times. The cultural impact of toxic masculinity, um, how would I say it? Um, it's what you, you need to get that toxic nick out of it. This is also a call to celebrate the divine masculine, which is a healthy expression of male energy that doesn't include domination, ego, or force, and that's just what I meant with your growing up. As the year winds down, make a point of surrounding yourself with guys you admire and respect. This is male or female. This is, uh, they will be among your greatest allies in 2011. With all the important people in your life, begin discussions about the future. Are your goals aligned? Is there an adventure in your shared bucket this year that you've always wanted to pursue. Uh, it might involve relocating, taking a workshop, or even starting a business together. Explore. And remember, when you let go, and it's going to be hard, but when you can really let go of the pain and the resentment that you've had carried with you so many years, you'll find you can almost fly. You'll feel so much lighter. Have a wonderful month. Bye-bye.